everybody, it's Valerie from Valerie Wallace Fine Arts here in Orono, Maine. Um, one o'clock drawing classes every day for free. Um, all kinds of different things for you to try today. We're going to do a still life and that means it's some stuff on the table and sometimes it's classically like a basket of fruit or something like that, but it could be your toothbrush and a cup and um, some mouthwash sitting on a table. Could also be a still life. What's another still life, Deb? A uh, soccer ball and cleats. Soccer ball and cleats could be a still life. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's stuff. Um, and there's a bunch of none of these things are complicated, but there's a bunch of things to do. So let's get let's get started. Okay, today I'm going to use my um, chalky pastels. In honor of you, Holly, when you're when you're ready, because I know that's what you got, and I forgot to say that these are great too. Um, this is the thing where you want a paper with a little bit of tooth. If you're just using a piece of typing, not typing paper, that's old-fashioned copy paper, um, it's a little too smooth. It's going to be hard to make it stick. So even a paper bag or something like that would be fine. It would work good. Okay. All right, let's do it. We're not going to think about the fruit. We're just going to think about the basket, which is kind of a rectangle. If you draw a rectangle, that's great. Um, on this side, it's pretty cool. We're going to sit, we're going to start here and here, okay? Um, so this is pretty close to the end. And this is uh, yeah, from top to bottom about halfway down, okay? So I'm going to do that. I'm going to go halfway here. I want to, and then I'm going to go in just a little bit, and I'm going to give myself a mark. You can work as lightly as you can right now is the best thing to do because you might want to adjust things, okay? Then I want to go over this side. I want to leave a little portion. I don't want to leave half of the paper. I don't want a basket this little because that's what it's about. But um, but I'm going to leave a little bit just because having it, let's see, having it a little bit off center makes your composition a little uh, more interesting than having it smack in the middle, okay? Sometimes that's great and sometimes... You don't need to. I want to have this have a little curve. That shows perspective, okay? It's not that the basket actually has a curving side. It's to, to um, so that we can be looking down on it and see the stuff from the inside a little bit. So I'm going to go between these two dots. I'm going to find about the middle, and then I'm going to drop down just a little bit lower than what they are and give myself a dot. Can you see these dots? Mm -hmm. You know what I don't have? Can you grab me as a um, charcoal with Okay, so then what I want to do, and that'll give me something to aim for, way far left in that box. And then I'm going to round up like this. Thankfully, I have Daphne as my, my lovely assistant, my lovely ginger ninja assistant. Okay, everybody got a big smile? I'll do that down here, now that I have my charcoal. Same thing, I'm going to go top to bottom. I'm going to find about the middle, and I'm going to go in a little bit. And then I'm going to come over here on this side, line that up. I'm going to go in a little bit like this. I'm going to find the middle. I'm going to drop down a little bit lower, not too much because this is smaller. And I'm going to round this out so I have a big smile. Okay? The next thing I'm going to do is draw two vertical lines on either side. Kind of like this. Okay. I don't want to make too deep of a basket because I have this fun ch checkered cloth, so I want to have a little bit of room for that. Same thing from here and here. I want to go to the middle, and I want to drop it down a little bit lower than where I am here and here. So it's going to be the same kind of smile shape. All right, so I'm a little... This line turned out to be a little bit longer than this one, so I'm going to bring this down. hard to see from the side a little bit. Okay, let's see, is that about right? It's hard to see like that. Does that look about right now? Mm -hmm. Okay. So again, I'm going to bring lines straight down like this. I'm going to find the middle and I'm going to go a little bit lower. Those are a little swaying. Are they? <laughs> Thank you. Okay, and that one? Yeah. And then I'm going to go like that. Okay. All right. I'm 
using the sienna again, okay? The next thing I'm going to do is sketch in the orange and the apple. And this will blend right into the red. It will blend into the orange and work really well. So um, this is a good color to use. If you're using yellow, it would work okay too. Um, actually, anything's fine. I, don't, I wouldn't suggest black. The idea is that we put the something really dark and do those things towards the end. Okay? But in a way. This orange, it doesn't matter where you put the fruit, okay? The only reason why I'm giving you going to follow this picture a little bit is because of the handle. Because then it will help if you think, if, if you don't need help figuring out how to put the handle on, then just do whatever you want. But if you think you might need help, try to stay a little bit where I'm at because it will it will make a difference when we do that. Um, and also make them big. You don't want barely, like well, this is kind of a half circle, but you don't want like a, just a little teeny bit barely showing out. We want this basket to be overflowing with the fruit because that's what it's all about and that's where all the fun colors are. That's where all the happening stuff is. If you just want an empty basket, then draw an empty basket. But if you're going to make a basket full of fruit, you want it, you know, to be peeping. Okay? So we're going to make a nice big, you know, three quarters of a circle. Two quarters of a circle. Two quarters. More than a half. Three, two thirds. Okay. And this is, doesn't go all the way to the side. It comes in about here, but it also, let's see, is this the middle now? Yeah, it's about middle? the middle. Okay, so where you have this dot here, you know, hump that orange like this. Okay? I'm going to make it nice and big. Okay? Mm -hmm. Not too big, though, because I'm going to put this apple back there. So the apple, you can see, goes about here, but it starts out here. And all you have to do is, if it, it, a lot of times they go in, they bend in a little bit where the stem is. So um, just start kind of like there, and then start kind of like there, and then you'll have your look kind of like a heart. Okay? Yep. Um, all right, let's do the. Oh, I'm going to do it down here. I'm going to do it around here because I'm going to pay attention. We're a little behind schedule today. Not too bad, though. But. We pulled it off. How I going on? am addicted to uh, what am I doing? What are you calling that? Spring cleaning. Oh yeah. Going through all my stuff in my attic and things. I'm that kind of person. I'm a slob, really, when it comes to just like on the daily. I just throw everything everywhere, but I love going back through stuff and organizing all my boxes and all that stuff. I wouldn't say you're a slob. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah, but I'm not good at putting anything away. Like, I would oh, never no. take my clothes off. Never. And put them away. And, like, you know, something that was, like, needed to be hung up. I would never take it off and put it on my Yeah, I Sometimes don't normally I do, do that. I do with my coat now when I feel very, very... Put together. <laughs> but that's it. All right. We're going to do part of the hand. We're going to start with the handle, okay? What I want you to see is this is pretty much going straight up. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to make an arch for a very narrow rainbow that goes from here to here. Okay? We're going to make that line. So it starts, that's why we put this in the middle, it starts just over to the side. Okay? So you're going to have a spot right here. And then in this case, if you're kind of, if this looks, if your picture looks kind of like this, then we know we're going, to, we're doing the outside here. So we're going over to the one of the humps on the um, apple. Okay? So we're going to make a spot here. And you can make it a short handle or a really tall handle, like a, like an Easter basket. It doesn't matter, okay? Just do whatever comes natural to you. Um, so I think probably if I just go up and I just come down like that, then I'll have my first thing I want to do. Looks like a candy cane. Okay? So far, so good. to do is make a little horizontal line that goes over like this, however wide you want your panel to be, okay? And then once you go over a little bit like this, you're just going to follow that curve and bring it right down like that, okay? Right up very, very, very top, okay? All right, 
Now this is the interesting part, or the special part. I'm trying to think of another another thing this happens with. It happens like when we do the snake or when we do a tail, and it also happens like if you're doing um, stems of leaf with leaves on them. Mm -hmm. What's that called? The plant? <laughs> Comes plant? Ivy kind of thing? Sort of happens with that too. What we're doing now is that you're actually starting. Is my can you see? Is my hand on? You're actually thinking about starting out here. And what's happening is that this is going through here and it's coming out right here. And that is the underside. Doesn't have to be exact, but that's kind of what you're doing. Does that look right? Yeah, I think so. It's all right, it's a yeah. little tilted up. Yeah. It's gonna be a little bit higher over here. Okay. Same thing. So I'm thinking about where the outside of the front part of the handle meets the top. That's kind of where it goes through and it comes down on the other side. It doesn't have to be exact. When somebody goes to look at your picture, the first thing they look at is not going to be the handle, right? Right. That's not it, okay? All right. I love using this color because it goes with everything, but to save time, I'm going to have you grab something really dark for the grapes. Dark purple, dark blue. Any other choices? You could do black if you, that's all you have. If you have like four colors, right? If you if you have your primary colors in black, maybe start with black and then color the insides with blue. That'll still look great. Okay. Yeah. Thank you to everybody who um, sends me their pictures. It makes me really happy. Okay. I am gonna actually use where is it? I'm gonna use this dark purple. I, I, this picture is based on a painting by Karen Malillo de Vega, I think, um, and it has a bottle in it, and it has green grapes on it, and it doesn't really have this, doesn't have this background, um, but I love it, and it was a little bit different here, I forget what was here, but, um, so these are extra grapes, but the grapes are, I, what I don't want to have you wind up doing, number one, I've seen people do, I've done the cornucopia a lot, and they make grapes, and they make them tiny. It's not, the grapes aren't tiny, they're big, especially if you go to the grocery store now, they're huge. Make them big, and don't think you need to make one circle next to another circle next to another circle. It's about the whole clump, okay? And as long as you're making bouncy, curly lines, it's going to look like grapes, okay? And you want them to overlap, because they're not all separated, they are overlapping. So what that means is, like right here, I have to be a little conscious of the bot of the, if I want to be in my basket, then I need a line here. But all I'm gonna do is make big bumps, okay? And like here, I have to go behind the, um, because what else is it gonna be, you know? So I'm gonna have a little, uh, back there. So I'm going to make it a little clump like that and then I'm going to put a little green on there for an apple. Um, definitely, I know it's not going to be you people who are listening, but I have definitely seen people take 10 minutes to make the circle for the grapes. Even when I tell them not to, they still do it. People have their own minds. While I'm at it, maybe I'll put this um, stem in here. I'll put a little stem, and I'll put a little leaf. I like to do a leaf by doing the middle line. I'll come back to that, maybe. Okay, so down here in the black and white, just don't make them too little. If you make them too little, too little too, then it will make your orange and your apple seem like they're prehistoric sized. Because we know what the comparison is. Oops. Prehistoric size? Well, you know, like freakishly large. Yeah, I get what you're saying. Well, I think that I think back in the day they were probably smaller. Do you think that? 
fruits and vegetables weren't super big when the dinosaurs I grew. almost positive that's the case. They weren't bigger? Yeah. Really? That, like, the only reason why our fruits and vegetables are so big and juicy is because we made them, you know, we genetically modified them oh. to be. Well, yeah. You know. Right. Or just with agriculture. That, like, bananas are actually really small and they just grow naturally. But I see what you're saying. Alright. Okay. We've got a fruit on there. Everybody have fruit? Yes? Yeah, I got okay. my fruit. Um, what I want to do here, I want, while well, I've got my ground handy, I want to come down a little bit. I can also make some little dots so that I can make it the same distance. Because sometimes these are things that bum you out when you don't get them even, and then you, that's an easy way to do it. Give yourself a little dotted line to follow. All right. I feel like, I feel like this is wacky. Isn't it? Um, I guess I need here a little bit more. Bigger on the top. I want it to maybe come down a little bit more. Okay, doesn't matter. Okay. I want to put in some random lines on here to represent basket. Okay? Right. I want to take my brown and I'm going to put a little shadow on my orange and a little shadow on my apple. Okay? So grab a red. Maybe well, first thing what we'll do is a lot of times apples are kind of on the pinky side of red. So if you get a kind of um, pinky sort of red, we'll put that on our apple. And you go on the shadow side, just go right over that. If you're doing with um, chalk pastels, you can just use blend these in a little bit. Let's color everything all down. Okay. So on these, oh, I didn't want to do that yet. Oh well. I want to make this line of my orange become the apple so that my Orange doesn't look like it's outlined. Okay, do you see how that changes when I thicken up that bit of shadow? Then it makes the orange. Oh, you know what? I put all I cleaned up yesterday. I lost all my stuff. What do you mean? Where's all my erasers? Oh, over there. Oh, sorry. Do this let's do this red cloth okay this is what we did what we're gonna do what happens um, is that this line is we have a vanishing point where all these Somebody things meet Shh, which would probably be in this case about here so this line is a straight up and down line what the one that goes to the left of it is diagonally in this direction and then this one is also, we're not going to worry too much about how big or how small the, the um, how the squares change in size or anything. We don't care about that. But we're straight up and down. These are going to tilt in this direction. These are going to tilt in that direction. And, and you have your basket in the middle. Your cloth could be wrinkly. So if you do it a little bit more random, that's fine. I'm going to find um, right about the top of the basket is where I'm going to make the table end. I'm going to put a line there. A 
okay? I'm going to find the middle of my paper, and I'm going to draw a line, and I'm going to make this thicker. Wanna, if you make your line super small, then your stripes, it's a lot obvi more obvious that you, if you flub them up. So make them big. Okay? Um, so what I'm thinking is that, you know, maybe my spot is like right about here. Let's just imagine that it's right about here. From that spot, I'm going to go like this, and I'm going to make a diagonal line here, and then I'm going to start there again, and I'm going to make one that goes this way, and I'm going to start there again, and I'm going to start there again, and they're going to keep going. Okay? If you don't get it, don't worry about it. Skip this all together, but if you have time later, you can go back and look at it again. Um, but if this is hard, then don't bother. Or if you're like, don't even care, just make stripes. But if you want to have it have a little perspective. So same thing, same spot, I'm imagining. I'm, I'm having to think about how, how much I space them out um, on my own. I'll just have to kind of eye it up. Okay, now they even slant out the side of the paper. Like even here, I have one more spot here. I should probably have one more line like that. Over here, maybe here. Okay? All right. What I would do next is color between the stripes every other. Now we'll have nice thick ones. Okay? So here's a stripe. That means I'm going to color this spot. If you're just having a pencil, um, you know, just don't get to do red, a red checkered cloth, but that's all right. again on the one in the black and white. So if you um, almost have it but don't quite, just hang on a second and I'll do it again, okay? You know, it's going to be different because everybody's basket is probably a little bit different size. So it's, you have different amount of cloth, tablecloth to show, okay? It's a cool thing to, if you, when you sort it out a little bit. Again, you know, you could get it out, get a ruler out and figure it all out, but we don't want to just be able to um, suggest it. Okay, so I'm going to do it again in the black and white, all right? First thing I'm going to do is to, is put the table, to, you know, have my table plot down. I want a little lower than maybe the top of the basket, okay? Now I'm going to find the middle of the paper, which is about here. I'm going to go right down. I'm going to make a line. And I'm going to make this um, wider. Okay, and I'm going to color that in. So I'm just going to space my lines out about as wide as this one. This would actually probably be the um, the widest stripe, but it doesn't. When you're working with perspective with something this close, it's not as exaggerated. But it's still a cool thing to do. Okay, so if I went straight up from here and I said that this is where my um, my uh, focal point is, I'm gonna want, and this is good because I put it right on the handle so that I won't. Um, which, if you really wanted to use a ruler or something, you could. So I'm thinking, I'm going over here. I'm thinking, well, that's about how big I want that stripe to be, which I could probably do that. Maybe that would be helpful. So say I mark out. They would actually get a little bit closer together as they went out here. Okay, let's say I go right along the bottom. I think this will work, right? Yeah, okay. And then I go from here, and I'm imagining going from here, and I'm hitting that stripe, and then here, going here. And then what would happen is I'd have to keep going, and they would get closer together, kind of like that. Okay, so same thing. If I mark out along the bottom about how wide I want each of my stripes, then I'm going to hit that, and then I'm going to hit that one, and then I'm going to have to spread them out over the side. 
Okay, so this one's a little off here. Okay, and then um, I'm gonna color these in. Every other, between every other, well, every other stripe. Sometimes, this is, um, doing it in the stripes first is good. If you do a checkered cloth and then have people go in to do the checkers, <laughs> with the, when there's stuff on the table that you have to work around, it can get very confusing. I have seen it with my own eyes. Who was that? Um, it was the delivery person. Oh. Veronica? No, for me. You shouldn't be getting so many presents. It's not for me. Oh. All right. Okay. So now what we want to do is we want to put a few stripes. And what happens is they get a little bit smaller as they go back into the distance. Usually, yeah, yeah, I like to work big and then we'll just get them smaller as we go along. The, the tricky thing here is just that I don't want um, how I want to space from the bottom of my page to where the basket is. So I want to have a little bit of white on this stripe before. So I'm, gonna, I'm actually just going to use that as my, my go-to right there. And I'm just going to make a line that goes right straight across. And I can color in the little spaces in between. You could do it a different color and then you could color over it. It would actually look like it had a little weave to it. Okay, so kind of like that. Even though it's thin, it's because part of it is not showing on the page. You know, sometimes you have to think about things like if you were taking a photograph of it and how stuff gets cropped. Okay, all right. The next one I'm going to have, I'm thinking, you know, this, this shape right here is going to be roughly, a, you know, a square. So I'm going to use that as my line. Okay. Mm -hmm. And this one will be about the same width as like maybe that original stripe you did. A little bit smaller possibly, but about the same. Alright. Like I said, if you don't get it, don't worry. Just color your, you know, like you can color your cloth any way you want to. And then what I want is I want one that, that the square is a little smaller and the stripe is a little smaller. Alright, and then another one up here. Hopefully these are lining up. Okay. I just kind of wanted to um, do that even though it's kind of a little extra for this picture. <laughs> I'm not going to color in my background today. This I'm just going to leave this white. I might put a little shadow back there and pretend it's real close. But I'm not going to Okay? All right, let's do the stuff in the, all right, so we've done the apple, we've done sort of the Granny Smith apple. Grab an orange or a yellow or an orangey yellow or whatever, and that's what we're gonna put on the orange. And again, if you have a little, if you've left a little shadow, just kind of color over that shadow and that brown will show through a little bit and it will give it a little shape. Right along the bottom, you want that a nice smooth line, okay? And the grapes, what happens with the grapes, um, yeah, I'm already done down here, um, is that uh, they're, they have blue on, they're, they're like purple and blue, and then there's a little highlight. And I think the highlight is going to stick on here. Um, but if I just put a little blur of blue on these things, and then find, clean off a finger, and I can just kind of do each little ball with my finger like that. Each grape. And if it gets so that you don't see the, the dark purple where, like here, I'm gonna ball in my hand. Yeah, here we go. Um, I want this to be nice and clean right next to this orange, right? I want that to make that orange stand right out. Oh, that came out good. Daphne's 
made a cool special tie-dye shirt with a little bit of, um, she put some wax on it in a, sh in a skull shape for, uh, um, like, it, it's sort of a homemade pretend batiking mm -hmm. is what you call that. Homemade pretend. Yeah, it's kind of like when I make Thai food. <laughs> it's like inspired by Thai cuisine, but not really. They would yeah. not see the connection. All right, so I've got a little, little um, dark purpley blue little piece there. to make these this a little bit better. And okay, and then with the with the purple ones, hopefully we can get away with a little uh <gasps> No What? You broke your purple? It's just this leftover. I had, somehow I got my hand. Somebody late gave me a pack of really good, um, really good chalk pastels. And like you can see, they'll give a little, you know, I can even get a little highlight. Yeah. Or and use that. I just dropped it, dropped it, dropped it. Most of it. Foul. Um, but they have so much more, um, they're almost all pigment, so they're very fragile. So I can put a little white on my orange like that. Maybe a little bit out here on my apple. Okay. All right, let's finish this basket up. So what we, we two things. Don't let me forget either. We need a shadow on the table. Don't let me forget. Okay. So um, we have a lighter side of your basket and a darker side. That's another thing besides perspective. Having shadowing helps to show um, um, depth and stuff. So I'm going to take a little more... Um, put a little darker color over here. This is a really fantastic way that the basket has been represented. It's very um, loose, and but it still serves the purpose, right? It still has a darker side and a lighter side. It still looks like a basket. Um, I love it. I think it's awesome. I'm going to go with this. I'm going to make this darker right under here. That will help show that. So um, keep in mind that I have um, all kinds of videos. I'm coming up on 40 classes that you can watch wow. on, on Facebook or uh, um, YouTube. Anytime, day or night, go for it. Go try it out. Try something you don't think you want to draw. You may surprise yourself. It may be your best one. Because all the bets are off. Mm -hmm. um, and if you want to leave a donation, which is um, lovingly, gratefully received, you can go to ValerieWallaceFineArts.com. That's my website. And there's a ticket page, and you can leave it there. And then I know those people that are out there. I just got I got a little donation yesterday from somebody that I had n no idea they were out there. I think with the kids watching the show, so that's great. That's fine. It was very. I had to go uh, do a little Facebook stalking. Figure out who the was. <laughs> a friend of a friend kind of thing, I think. I can't always tell though because. There's people with the same name out there. Okay. So I've got a few light colors in here on this side. A few darker ones over here. Got my little um, handle. Got my fruit in there. So same thing down here. Um, what's going to happen... With the, um, uh, the shadow, yeah, thank you. 
is that's what's going to take this from being like, oh, that's great, all oh, fun colors or whatever, and it's going to make it seem more three-dimensional. Shadow is just an easy thing to do, but all of a sudden gives everything more, you know, credibility. Mm. Okay. You want this, um, you know, you want this little... Okay, um, I think I will, I've got this purple one here, I'm just going to use this, okay? So, I want this down here, I want a little bit, I'm going to go over that a little bit, round that up a little. Uh, just a little bit, right underneath, even on this side, because it helps to plant that guy right down on there. Alright, and then on this side, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go about halfway up the side, and I'm going to shade it right in here and then have a little half a circle that goes right off the page. And what will happen is where it's red, it will get darker than where it's white, and that will kind of keep the integrity of the. Um, I need another finger because mine are all dirty. Okay, there's that. sits it on there. Does it work? Am I making it up? Yeah, it looks good. looks good. And it, even a little teensy weensy when we sometimes we have so dark here and a little light here and what you do is right along here you have a little, we call it reflected light. Just a little light point to separate this basket from the shadow. Alright, so down here, I keep using it. You know, I want to make sure I've got a nice little bit right here. Okay. Um, and uh, right there. And I think what I will do, just for the fun of it, just to kind of show you what happens, is um, I'll use I'll use gray, I guess. So I'm gonna put a little bit. I'm gonna imagine. Would that even make sense? I'm not sure what you're doing. Uh, I was gonna say I put a shadow on the back wall, but I guess it's too far away, okay. so it doesn't really make I sense. I don't think you need it. Because the light is here, so it wouldn't actually be causing the shadow. So I'm not gonna do that. Okay, but I forgot to put the shadow here. Okay, um, what else do I need to say? I think you said it all you need I to said say. it all. You really have Somebody to. suggested that I say something. What was that? Mm. I don't know. If you have any suggestions, something you'd like to do, um, I am listening. I have a request for tomorrow. Um, Show them. Is that working? Oh, I didn't do my little... That, one my nice stem, I will show you in just a sec. You can get all wonderful, well, you, I think everybody knows that looked at my um, cover picture because it was right on it. Oops, now I don't have any fingers left. Okay. Oh, oh. A lot of times an apple stem is a little bit... Okay. Got a basket. Got a tool. Got grapes. Got oranges. Got apples. Okay. This is what we're doing tomorrow. In honor. Thank you from Go Becky Go. Go Becky Go. Go Becky Go. And do a little lobster because we're from Maine. This is going to be fun. You can do something with the background. You can write Maine on it. You can make it not dead by painting it um, Green. browns, greenish colors like that because um, this is what they look like when they're dead. Um, but it's a great, it's a great shape and it's great fun drawing to do. So we're gonna do that tomorrow. And thank you um, very, very much for watching and uh, I'll get it. <laughs> and um, I
Um, we'll see you tomorrow at 1 o'clock. And everybody try to be nice and understanding to with each other. Because this is a hard time. Ooh. Hey, Ruby. Hey, Alicia. Hey, Heather and Lydia. Jolene. How cool. Angie. Shouldn't you be at work? Sherry. Oh. All the kids, all the kids. Oh, and um, Sophia and Anna and the boys, Amy's boys, Erlene, Katie, and my mother. All right, see you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much. Hi, hi, hi daughter.